Welcome back to the free-to-play Ultimate Iron Man. Last time I did a lot of room crafting and ended up with level 81 and camped some Ogres Warriors for my next goal. Telegrabbing a lot of nature runes for smithing. Alright guys, we have over 30,000 law runes to use in the wilderness and if I do end up using all of these, I can get a rune axe and a rune scimitar. Problem is, I will be risking everything on this account. My wall inventory and all of these bone fragments will be at risk. And all of these bone fragments can get me over 90 rune crafting, so that's a lot. Um, but this will really help the account, so I'm going to prepare my gear, inventory, and we will go to the wilderness. I'm going to do this grind. It will be a great next step progress-wise. I've cleaned my wool inventory, sold off the runes and the arrows, and I'm gonna buy the best possible gear I can get for the wilderness. I'll buy a rune skirt, because it's slightly less weight than the legs. And I do need a shield. I have no shield right now, so I am going to make an adamant square shield. That's the best shield I can make with my current smithing level. And there we go. There is the adamant square shield. That's the best I can get for now. And the only other upgrade I want to get is a rune plate body, in case I get... Uh, attacked by range and melee the extra defense bonus might help out for tanking so i think it's worth an inventory slot and besides from that we need to make food which i think is quite a struggle so the best food in free to play is anchovies pizzas and i have to make them from scratch you cannot buy pizzas anywhere so this is quite a process i think i could buy a pot of flour here and also some of the other ingredients that I need. Alright, we bought a full inventory of pot of flour. And I bought some buckets. Fill them with water. And I can make the pizza bases here. So we fill up a full inventory of pizza bases. And then we go back to the previous store. And buy tomatoes and cheese. And we can make all the plain pizzas. This is probably one of the most tedious things I've done on this account so far. Making an inventory of anchovies pizzas. That's uh, pretty funny. There we go, full inventory of pizzas done. All I have to do now is fish the food, cook the food, and then complete the pizzas. And to finish off my inventory, we are fishing a couple swordfish. And that's it, that's the inventory completed. We are in the wilderness, let's go to the spot. It is in level 42 wilderness. There's this lava island, I've never actually been here. And there we go, we have a 3 nature rune spot and a 4 nature rune spot. So I used... Two law runes per world and I get seven nature runes in return, which is actually really good. I guess it's like the free to play risk reward money maker. But for Iron Man, this is like the best way to get nature runes. You basically trade your law runes into nature runes. So yeah, this will be my home for the next 20 or 30 hours maybe. I'm not sure, maybe even longer. There we go, level 89 magic. I did not expect to get some levels here. 500k for the next level, we might get close to that. Uh, that's nice. That is a first level in a little while. And we have a long way to go, so... Oh, that's someone... Okay, I can luckily world hop really quickly because they changed the way telegrabbing works. Telegrabbing now is a little bit faster than it was before. Which also means you can like world hop in the middle of the animation. So that might save me a few times. I'm probably going to see quite a bit of people here because this is a... Pretty popular hotspot for free to play. Now, I'm not that afraid that I'm going to die on this account. But if there's a big team, I definitely am in trouble. So we have to hope there's no team roaming this spot. Because if people know I'm here, then yeah, I could definitely be a target. But from what I've heard, usually people are alone here. So let's hope uh, that's going to be the case. And I've changed my screen a little bit. I went resizable mode and moved the uh, bell book next to the nature runes. Which makes it a little bit more convenient to use the telegrabs. I just got the hop limit. Unfortunately this method requires a lot of world hopping. And I can only do this for like 2 hours a little bit more. And I get the hop limit. And I have to wait a few hours for all my uh, world hops to reset. So I'm gonna do this in parts. And play my other accounts when I get the hop limit. So yeah, that's also why this is taking quite a bit. Because I can only do this for a limited amount of sessions a day. Oh, that looked like a PKer. I realized I made a pretty bad mistake. I was world hopping too quickly when I was telegramming the second nature room stack. And because I was too quick, it didn't appear in my inventory in time. So I wasted like a thousand law runes. Oof. Good thing I realized. Oh, okay. Only level 74. Cannot attack me. That's good. I think there's a lot of bots here, so there's a lot of PKers like killing bots, I guess. Because I'm seeing quite a lot of level 70s. And they should be able to attack most combat brackets, so... As long as it's only those people, that's fine with me. Oh. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked. 
that's the first time I'm getting attacked. Uh, it's only a ranger and he's alone. So yeah, okay, that's fine. Ooh, all right, he was alone. That's good. That was a pretty easy escape. I'm in a singles area now, so if there's a big team, only one person can attack me. But that wall area around the nature rooms is all multi, so just have to make sure I run to this part quickly and people should not attack me. It's been quite a few days. I've been telegramming for like a week now, doing a session here and there. Next session, we will be done. All right, we are done. I have enough nature rooms for the rune axe, and I don't really want to stay for the rune scimitar. I don't feel like risking my stuff any longer and a rune axe is a great upgrade for free to play iron man accounts because you can make a rune axe and i have yet to train my wood cutting and fire making to 99 so i'm actually going to use these nature runes first at least get the uh, level for the rune axe and maybe i can come back later for the rune scimitar but for now i think it's a good plan to leave this place quite a lot of pkers but only one person in my combat bracket so that's good and no teams as well so didn't end up being too bad and we can now claim the rewards by using these nature runes. It should get me some really nice levels. I can't wait to use all of these nature runes, but first, you don't want this guy to see what you're doing online. I mean, look at him. He looks very suspicious. Luckily, both of us can use today's sponsor, NordVPN, to access the internet behind a wall of encryption. There are over 5,000 servers worldwide to choose from. You can virtually be anywhere you want, when you want. NordVPN is more than just a VPN. Check out Sailey, the new eSIM service app, brought to you by NordVPN. It is terrific for saving your money while you travel. I went to Japan recently and had to pay $50 for a Wi-Fi pocket. Sailey has several eSIM plans, and for example, for Japan, it looks like you can buy 20 gigabytes of data for only 23 bucks. I wish I knew, because that's a great deal. NordVPN also has a great threat protection feature. Clicked on a weird download link, threat protection got you covered. Clicked a weird link... Malicious websites are all blocked, all while increasing your privacy online. And you don't need an active VPN connection for this to work. NordVPN is a great tool to increase your security, privacy and convenience on the internet. And you can get my exclusive NordVPN deal. 4 months extra on a 2 year plan by clicking my link in the description. Or going to nordvpn.com forward slash fairvpn. This deal also comes with a new perk, which is up to a 20GB Sailey data voucher. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. And thank you to NordVPN for partnering with me again. Alright, I cleared my inventory and all we need is a root pickaxe. And we are going to mine iron in the Dwarven mine and superheat it. And then there's an anvil a little bit west of the ores. We can make four plate bodies and a kite shield. And we basically repeat that all day. I'm not gonna use any fancy methods right now. Just gonna mine the ore, superheat and smith while I play my other accounts. And let's get 85 mything, shall we? Let's begin the grind. There we go. Huge level. Level 90 magic. Another 90 skill on the account. That looks very clean. Alright, first smithing level coming in. Level 81. I can make adamant chain bodies. Okay. Alright, another smithing level. 82. Three levels to go. And I can make adamant kite shields. That's actually a decent upgrade. Because uh, that's the best shield I can make on this account right now. Alright, cool. We're like one third of the way uh, with the nature runes. Another magic level. This gives a lot of magic XP. That's level 91. And magic levels are completely passive on free to play accounts. Basically by getting all the skills to 99 you get 99 magic. So all of these magic levels on this account so far have been... Gained from using nature runes, law runes, teleporting. Pretty good. Level 89 mining. One level to go for the big 90. And we're getting a lot of levels doing this, which is really nice to see. It's been a while since I've got this many levels, man. Very exciting. Another smithing level coming in. 83. Very nice. That's two levels to go. Yo, what the hell is this dwarf plotting? He's been staring at this wall for the last two minutes. <laughs> that looks so silly. Alright, I dropped him two iron ores. He doesn't have the mining level to mine it for the quest. <laughs> Yo, this is so awesome, man. He wanted to trade me, but I can't trade him. But I can drop it, so he's gonna see it. Oh! There we go. He can do Doris quest now. <laughs> Let's go. Give him a smiley face. I love free to play, man. Thanks a lot. Ah, oh, bless him. 
no problem. <laughs> He's going to Felidor enjoy his quest points. We've got to record the level, but there's 92 magic, halfway to 99. All right, 84 smithing. I can make Adam into henna swords. A little bit over 300k to go, and we can make the runex. One level to go. Here we go. The big 90 mining. I can mine the best tier star. And that is a decent bit of passive mining XP from this. Here we go. 85 smithing. It is done. I can now smelt rune ore. And a bunch of member shit. And that's it. Pretty much used all my nature runes. We got the level I wanted. I can plus one boost for the rune X. I can buy dwarven stout for that. And I can work on my next goal. We have to prepare a little bit. And it's done. Wow, I know there's a lot of bots in free to play, but I've never seen this many bots at the same spot. Look at all these woodcutting bots, and they're all using a freaking bronze axe. Like, what is going on? There are so many of them here. All the trees are down. All right, so I need to mine a runo in the wilderness, and I don't really want to risk my stuff, so I'm suiciding in the actual monastery. You can click on a scorpion and... It will kill you, which is really nice, because then my stuff will be on the floor for an hour. And we can go back to the spot, grab my pickaxe, and that's pretty much all we need to mine a rune ore. Without risking my law runes and bone fragments. Sorry for the messed up screen recording, by the way. I didn't notice, but it's only for a few clips. Basically, I went into the deep wilderness. I mined some coal ores next to the hobgoblins, and then I went to the rune ore. And I mined my first rune ore on the free-to-play ultimate Iron Man. There's two rune rocks a bit north of the King Black Dragon spot. And that is a rune ore. That's all we need. Let's get out of here. Let's not forget my stuff. And we have made the first rune bar on this account. Very nice. Bought myself a Dwarven Stout in Felidor. And that's everything I need. We can boost and make the rune X. And there it is. That, oh, that looks so good, man. That brings back memories. Chopping willow trees all day in Draenor Village. Remember when your freaking axe head could fly off? Nah, that was, that was fun. I remember as a kid finding some axe heads from other people and I was celebrating. We are not going for willows though. We will be chopping u locks. That's my next grind. I will go for 99 woodcutting and fire making on this account. And that will finish the last two easy skills on this account, I would say. Before we get into the big skills. This should be a, a pretty AFK grind. It's going to be really nice while working on my uh, other accounts. And the uh, fire making, I've never actually manually lighted locks to 99. So I guess it's time to get 99 this way. There's level 73 fire making. And with that, we have 1350 total level. Very clean. And I'm going to leave you guys there with that level. We have 73 wood cutting and fire making now. I'll see you guys in like probably a little over a month with both skills 99. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out my channel for many more videos like this. And if you want to see my newest adventures, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications.